Hey everyone, Meg here with Makeable Crafts and today we are making the cutest St. Patrick's Day banner. I can't wait to share this with you. So the fabric that I'm using is a canvas drop cloth, like from the painting section. I love these because they're super cheap. You get a ton of material and they're very durable. Now I'm going through and measuring everything and marking everything, but over on Makeable Crafts, I have a full printable where you don't have to measure anything. All right, so I've got my banners and now I'm gonna use my X tool. I love my laser cutter and I'm using that on cardboard to cut out my letters, but the letters are also included on that printable for you. I've got some painters tape and a silicone mat. I'm just gonna tape these down so I don't have to hold them. And I'm gonna go through and paint them with some white paint. I was shocked that I only needed one coat of paint, really was shocked. We're gonna set these aside and let them fully dry. We're gonna punch out some circles. Now I'm using a circle punch. If you don't have circle punches, don't worry. These circles and the right size are also included in your printable. So you can just print it out and cut them. Then I'm gonna use some liquid glue behind my letters and layer it onto the black circles. Set these aside and let this part dry. Next up, I'm gonna use the square that's also in the printable onto some green burlap fabric that I have. I have like five bolts of this, maybe six. I have no idea why I have so much, but I do. So I figured this is a great time to use some. So I'm just gonna go through and trim those down, use the same liquid glue and add them to our little banners. Then I'm gonna use some foam adhesive. These are dimensionals. I like the shape of them because there's no waste. We're gonna peel off the backings and I'm gonna add each letter onto its banner. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, make sure that you're following Makeable Crafts and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make some markings on there. Again, those marks are on your printable, so if you don't wanna measure, you don't have to. I'm using one of my favorite tools, which is called a crocodile. I think I've had this thing for like 15 years, but you can punch through multiple layers at the same time, whether it's fabric or foam shamrocks like we're gonna do here. I've got three layers going into there. I could have done six, but I didn't wanna press my luck. Get it, black, sorry, had to throw that in there. All right, then I'm going to use some Hampton Art Jute Cord. This is my favorite jute cord, and I know y'all can barely see that, but what I'm holding in my hand is magic. That is a little dental flosser. I use this all the time for threading ribbon or threading twine through fabric or cardstock. I love this tip and I hope that you like it. Also leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I'm just gonna alternate between shamrock and letters. I've got six shamrocks and I have five letters. We're just gonna, like I said, alternate. Once we have these all on our jute cord, then we get to space them out onto our mantle and you'll see what this looks like. In between each of the letters and shamrocks, I did go through and I added a cute little black and white gingham bow. I love the way this turned out. So like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure to subscribe to Makeable Crafts and I can't wait to see you in the next project.